It's day three, four, six, about 19 left to go. I'm stood on the drill emptying device. Um, we've put some reinforcement on the handles so they don't wear out over time. This is a three meter by three meter one. And I keep forgetting to tell people how they can buy them. Well, I've set up an email address, seedsock at agricontract.com. So any inquiries, send them to that with your address and details so that we can get quotes for postage and get them out. They're working out about 150 pound. I could make a bigger one for about 170, which would be four meters by four meters. This is three meters by three meters. I personally think this is big enough. I'm gonna load test them in a bit anyway, just to make sure there's no faults or anything like that before we start sending them out. But anyone wanting one, try and click the link below to the email address and send us an email inquiry. Um, We'll get on with some farming now. Frank's got the uh, JS130 just loading me up with a bit of drainage stone. Gonna unload the low loader, take the pipes off that were left from yesterday, put them in the bucket, and then we can um, take the digger up, fill the trenches back in. And then there's a load of wood chip going out over there onto Jenkinson's. We've done our way draining now, and just in the site where Andrew's been taking stone. Got me stone on, roll a pipe, but look at that wheat. Please, with that one to me at the edge. Please, don't drive with your phone on. Private road, obviously. Yeah, look at all that. It's mint. This is the field we were in yesterday. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a couple over there, these drains. That's the big wet hole now that we come through. So this was, I think, the first drain we did. Uh, we've just got some stone stoning it up now. Uh, water in the bottom, so that's working. And the patch up there seems to have dried as well. As you can see, the drain goes right through the middle of this, this wet patch. And I don't know if you can see there, but that's quite sandy. There, so that's obviously why it's been bubbling up here, because there's a seam of sand that's coming out. So hopefully, in years to come now, this field will be a lot more productive. See, if you look there, there's loads of pigeons on the uh, eating the sweet corn. That's exactly where I want them to be because it stops them eating the uh, oilseed rape. This hook I made the other day for moving stuff, it's a bit tight. So I'm just going to grind some more of the corners off it because it's, uh, you see it's catching on stuff. And someone's also snapped the pin as well, so I'll have to drill a new hole in the pin. Right, loads of people saw me put one of these on the spray yesterday and were asking what it is and where to get them from. They're actually from Spalding's. I'm not sponsored by Spalding's in any way, apart from they did send me a flag and some chocolates in the bottom of a bag, but no pens, just pencils. Basically, the, you get them off them, different sizes, for depending on the size of the rubber pipe. And inside this bit here, you've got um, a thread that screws onto the pipe left-handed. So you, where's the camera lens? So you screw that onto the pipe left-handed. Once that's on the end of your hose, this is tapered, and this has another thread on that's right-handed. And you put that in, turn it all the way until they meet in the middle so it'd be this you'd be turning and then it grips it really tight then because it's it's tapered then you've basically just put a new end on the pipe so if you've got a hole in the middle of a pipe you get two of these this is a bent, a bent one but you get a straight one this is a female and then you get a male join them together and you've just fixed the pipe that's burst and it's good enough to to be honest they last forever they're supposed to be temporary i think but but we use them a lot and we once put one on the telly i'm running it for about five years on the third service of the telly on there and never come off or leaked so spalders is the place and they might even give you a discount if you say you told you about them well they might give me a discount actually then <laughs> good news uh gary's just rung the 724 gen 6 is on the way so we'll have a look at that in a bit this might make the chipper grunt beech tree who wants to count the ridge Rich has got a slab of it there now he's going to put it in six hundred horse papa see what it does Change note. Put 
boys are watering the spray and we sprung a leak. When I come back last night, it must have caused a tree. I've fitted snap there. Got a spare one now, so we'll unbolt that, clip that one in, and off we go again. That's the broken fit in there now, see it's cracked. So I've got this new one now to go on, but I just need to swap the O-ring because for some reason this, this one hasn't got an O-ring with it. I'll just explain what this is. So this is basically a, a nozzle holder. It's actually one off of, of a liquid fur dribble that's snapped off. So we have some spares of them. But what, what goes on top, so the, the chemical goes through that hole there out of this metal pipe and then sprays down through the nozzle, which would be where that red bit is. But on the top, there's a valve that turns it on and off. And it's basically like a little air diaphragm inside there. And it puts um, pressure in to open and close or, or as pressure, it's, it's pressured on and pressured. No, hold on, let me get this right. Air pressure opens this valve, this diaphragm. So when there's no air pressure, a spring inside shuts it. And that's what turns the nozzles on and off. First load of chip going out on the new Silas trailer. Looking all shiny. I'm trying to get spraying. Obviously, I've just changed that thing. But a senior member of staff has gone out on a tractor and got two, three mile away before he's realised that the indicators aren't working. There's obviously a fuse or something gone on the fast track, so I'm going to have to go out there in my car now and sort it out. It's a bit of a design fault of the fast track if that relay can fall out on its own. Something underneath it. Try it again now. That's it. Try it now. Yeah, you wouldn't think a relay could fall out, but it obviously can on a fast track. Uh, my car's, um, the guy's here valeting someone in the yard for someone who's doing mine. So it's, it's a year old, I think, yesterday, 1st of March, whatever it was. So uh, it's time it had its yearly bath. Ready for its yearly bath? The outside's looking clean. I don't know what he'll do with that bit, though. Spraying this stubble off here now. We've got a hair in the field. Can you see it? Kind of blends in because it's the same colour. Not many though. I often see about four or five on this field, so I don't know whether the dog men have had them, but I've only seen one so far today. Just thought I might explain actually. Obviously, I'm using the GPS to see where I've done and where I've not, and to turn the spray nozzles on and off but I'm looking on the floor at last year's tram lines and that's what we use. We always keep them in the same place because they're hard for driving on. Uh, and also we try and sew them so we don't interfere with uh, telegraph poles and different things. So hopefully that moves will just miss that pole there. So that's what we always try and do. I've just sprayed this field off now with glyphosate, so trade name Roundup. Uh, it's obviously got some volunteer grass weeds and different things and some volunteer spring wheat because it shed a bit before we got onto it because of the season. And then Chris and Danny over the way had ploughed this but not got on it because it was so wet and they couldn't sow it. So kind of the same story really, we couldn't get on this. But it's just interesting to see, it's, though it's ploughed, it's still got a green tinge to it and grass weeds and different things on it. So when you're ploughing it looks like you've buried everything, which you have, but it still doesn't stop it growing in the spring does it? It still comes up. So, um, two different ways of farming really, but it always looks good, a black field ploughed, but the, the weed seeds are still there, ready to pop up when they get the opportunity. It's definitely a lot cleaner. Better. As you all probably know, I, uh, I like number plates and I've always bought them and sold them over the years. I've got quite a few, only my own collection that I've not sold. Potatoes, one of them, I can't put it on this car because it's um, it's not new enough, it's a 20 plate and potato needs to go on a 70 plate or newer. But I want to see what people think about the other two plates I've got. So we've got A1 Ollie H. This rum, which is a project we're working on. And this Ollie. So I'll leave a comment and decide which one I should put on it. Adam's uh, playing with his light hack again. Adam's just come back from training and apparently there was somebody following him down the road on a shiny fence. So let's see if, uh, if it's arrived. Oh yes. <laughs> let's have a quick look at it before we go back out. 
stop spraying. How shiny it all is. It's got the relief pressure valves for the spills as well, just for James. Right, so bus plug, side markers. Oh, put the 70 plate on it. Got the tyres. Jump in the cab. Smells all new. New joystick. New dashboard. Rev it up, see what happens. Look at Adam grinning, he's definitely a Fen fan. Pretending he's not. Might as well say LG on it, it's that big, that screen. I don't know whether I prefer the other one. I've just seen you grinning, so don't, don't lie. What's that there? Eh? One and two on the old lights. Oh well, I'm going spray them after I have a proper look tomorrow. It's starting to go dark, uh, that's why I was in a hurry, I didn't look at the tractor too much, but I'm just spraying where the sunflower maze was. So it's got volunteer grass again in the bottom, so we just want to not miss out so that it uh, kills the roots and then we could start prepping it in a month or two ready for the next season sunflowers you see the stalk still stood up from where i harvested it they're just catching a boom now but not catching any harm <laughs> get it so yeah i'm just gonna do this this is one of the paths here where people walked it's, it's relatively clean to be honest the stubble this was yesterday's quiz question it is and it says on here, you can see it now, auto height control, NORAC. So it's basically got radars, a bit like parking sensors on the boom, that scan the floor and work out how far the ground is or the crop is. And they adjust the boom height to where it needs to be. So it can bend in three places. So you've got left and right, either side, and then up and down, and it just contours it, following the ground like that all the time when you go through dips and hollows. So it keeps the spray pattern accurate because the spray pattern's obviously like in a triangle shape like that. And then as you're going up and down, it can if, if, it, if the boom goes too low, that triangle ends up being shorter and you end up with stripes rather than the proper pattern. So it's quite important that and it makes it a lot easier, especially on a 36 metre boom. While we're with the spray, does anyone know what that little straw's for there and a the little switch next to it? If you do, uh, leave it in the comments. I do like them LED lights on the spray. I've just come in now and it's dark. Uh, I'm going to have another bit of a look at this 724 and then um, I better edit this video so you can all watch it because it's getting late. Two hours later, Adam's still smiling. He's definitely a Fent man. No. Orange light there. Yeah, let's put them on now. You can't do the light trick. No. We'll get a proper look at it tomorrow. Maybe get a strap and see which pulls the best. That's about all for today. Don't forget if you want one of them, um, I forgot what I've called them, seed socks for clear, emptying the drill. Um, the email address hopefully should be in the link, but it's basically seedsock at agricontract.com. So send us your uh, postal details <coughs> and um, sort them out. We're working out £150 plus about £15 postage, depending on where you are. And if you wanted a bigger one, we could probably do you one of them for about £170, which would be like a four metre square. But um, leave a comment in the box i forgot to do the load test today but um we know it's going to work because we kind of half did it the other day but i'll um i'll do that tomorrow and probably film it as well so that you all know so if anyone gets one and rips one we can say well you've obviously been doing something wrong because we've load tested them up to a ton so that's all for today uh, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing keep them growing i want to buy a new sprayer um and then if it's working and i'm enjoying still doing the videos then maybe i will carry on after the year but um We'll see what happens when we get there. So, bye.